Does your voice create the impression you intend? Your voice print is as unique as your fingerprint and much more limiting. That is, no one will likely find your thumbprint on the copier and label you a loser. But they may hear your screech in the conference room and decide that you're not ready for promotion. We often attach a personality trait or an attitude to someone's voice. For example, the loud mouth. Do you remember the brouhaha over the after-game rant made by Richard Sherman after the NFL playoff game when the reporter asked for his comments? Of course, by the next day, on the talk shows, he had tamed his tongue and lowered his volume. But a loud volume connotes several things, none of them positive. Anger, arrogance, aggression. So how do you correct? Well, match the volume to the occasion, the setting and the purpose. Or how about the childlike voice? Ever have a dispute with a customer service agent and then ask to speak with a supervisor only to hear, I am the supervisor. An immature voice sounds light with no intensity, no firmness. It wavers as if unsure it has permission to land. This voice creates the impression of timidity, inexperience, and weakness. So how do you correct that impression? Well, improve your breathing techniques. Breathe from the diaphragm for more support. The monotone. Ben Stein serves as a poster boy for this voice. No peaks, no valleys, no speed bumps. The monotone speaker sounds like pit-a-pat, 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 of steady rain on the roof. The personality trait most closely associated with this voice is just boredom, no energy, laziness. Now again, I'm not saying that that is how that person is. I'm just saying that's the impression created. So how do you correct it? Well, select passages from famous speeches and mark them for emphasis. In other words, take a script of those famous speeches and underline key words. Mark pauses with a a forward slant, a long pause with two slant marks. Then read into a recorder to practice variation in inflection and pausing and varying the pace. That will help you get out of that monotone. The other kind of voice, the screecher. We've all heard the screecher. When you hear this shrill pitched person, your first inclination is to just cover your ears. The sound irritates even the most polite listeners. The personality traits that come to mind when this person speaks include they're nervous, they're high strung, they're, they're out of control as a whiner. How do you correct this kind of voice? Exercises to relieve the tension. Tension in the throat, tension in the neck, tension in the shoulder muscles. It's probably easier to work with a voice coach to correct this kind of voice problem. And then there's the up talker. You know, this speaker turns statements into questions. For example, she makes statements like these. I really like this movie. <laughs> or our sales are improving with this new campaign. <laughs> Either she liked the movie, or she didn't. But she should know. That shouldn't be a question. With a raised voice at the end, it sounds as though she's going to ask the listener for permission to like the movie. The impression created insecurity. The need for approval. How to correct? Just self-awareness to break that kind of habit. Although some people may be defensive about their voice, Accepting feedback to overcome bad habits may mean the difference between getting heard and getting ahead.